a neat little kit that I found from Preet uh, called Permaret. This little kit enables me to put pins into denture teeth for retention. T denture teeth meaning acrylic or hybrid composite resin type denture teeth. As we know, that's a very difficult proposition once we've ground off the back side of those types of teeth. There isn't a lot of bondable, well there isn't any really bondable material back there, so we have to find a way to incorporate retention. If you've read other articles and seen other videos I've made, I've addressed those issues with diatorics and slots and ridge lap locks and all kinds of neat little ways of cutting in the back of the tooth. Well, what I found with this uh, Permaret kit is a totally different concept in the fact that we affix pins to the backs of the teeth rather than cut in slots. And this is good because those translucent teeth that we use tend to show up as dark spots when we grind, there tends to grind, uh, be dark spots when we grind into them. This is the same principle basically that we would have for um, porcelain denture teeth. You know, porcelain doesn't bond to acrylic, so the manufacturers of the porcelain denture teeth incorporate pins into the back side of the teeth for retention. Well, in essence, that's basically what we're going to do here today, is I'm going to explain to you, A, first the kit, just to give you a little overview on the kit, and then B, I'm going to show you how to tap in uh, a threaded wire that uh, basically becomes a retentive pin, um, and I'll give you a few little tips on what I found while I was doing it that makes the procedure easier and actually more effective. So with that being said, let's walk you through the kit itself just to give you a, uh, an overview of what we have. First off, we're going to have a whole bundle, I believe there's 10 um, of these rhodium wires and they're, they're, they're uh, coated uh, with silver and they also have threads on them, okay? Uh, you also get three um, tap drills, basically is what they are. They're, you tap a hole. This, the hole that these produce is just a bit smaller than the wire themselves, which allows you to screw the wire into the back of the denture tooth. And then uh, lastly, we have a, a, a threading uh, handpiece, I'll call it. And basically, it has two collets. It has one collet that is the same diameter of the uh, wire, and you would thread the wire down into that um, in order to screw the wire into the back of the denture tooth. I'll give you just a really quick little, cool little deal like this, just to show you. See how it goes down? Then I'll just thread this over the top of it. Now, if it slides in, just enough to show you. And you can see it's now threaded, it's inside of here, and now I can take this and screw this in the back of the tooth. I'll show you how that works in a second. And then there's a second collet. This collet here actually is the same diameter, 5 16ths, as the twist drill bits. If you prefer to take the hand piece and hand drill the holes in with the twist drills, you can do it that way. It's a little more time consuming, and you have to be also careful that you don't bend the twist drill. But with that being said, um, it's a you can do it that way if you uh, per, if you'd like to. It's a preference issue. I use the handpiece. I use my micro motor handpiece here, which works you know really fast and really well. And when we're setting teeth, that's when we're literally putting the wires in the back of the teeth. So it makes sense to me that I want something quick that I can just tap the hole, uh, screw in the wire, snip it, and be done with it. Well, so that is the kit itself. It's the wires, the holder, the twist drills all a complete kit so that you can start to tap these nice little pins in the back of the teeth. Now I'm gonna go away for a second come back and then basically I'll take you through a, a few of the little tips and so forth that you'll want to know about if you want to start incorporating this into your uh, fabrications. So I'll be right back on that. So I wanted to uh start this off by showing you um, how to calibrate uh, or at least to estimate uh, how deep uh, you want to drill your hole or how you can gauge drilling your hole and that is that I take a, a black sharpie and I uh, uh, measure off 
about a millimeter and a half to two millimeters depending on how deep I want to go usually about a millimeter and a half to be honest with you and then what I do is I blacken the twist drill to to from that point down so that anything that's silver is the mill and a half and then what I do is I just take my little piece of wire and I do the same thing on my piece of wire I except I do it in reverse I just do the mill and a half on the tip so that when I'm screwing this into the tooth uh, when that black area disappears I know that I've gone far enough why do I do that basically because I don't want to go or try to to screw this into the tooth deeper than the hole so by uh, calibrating or marking it like this for myself um, I don't go any deeper than the hole and the reason that that's not a good thing to go deeper than the hole or try to go deeper than the hole is when you're turning this tool you can tweak this piece of wire and it'll bend and it could even snap I didn't realize when I first started using it uh, how important that was but it is important and then of course as I mentioned uh, earlier always about the minimum amount of wire coming out of the actual pin vise or tool to uh, to screw it into the tooth because the shorter the firmer if I was to have a long piece out here and I turn it it's easily it can twist or tweak easily in the center here so I just want to mention that to you it's really not that technique sensitive these are little things that in the back of your mind you'll have to think about when you're using this tool and using this process this permarad process um, once you've done a few uh, it becomes second nature and remember you're not going to do it for every tooth anyways generally it's usually the anterior six or anterior four depending on how much you've had to grind uh, your case because this is a preventative measure uh, so that you don't lose a tooth that doesn't pop off in function during the course of the person wearing the appliance. So again, just wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, mark that little, uh, the length that you want. Mark it coincidingly with your twist drill bit. And then this way, once you've tapped your hole uh, and you go to screw this in, it'll only bottom out to that depth because you won't go any further than the little black area that's on the wire. Alright, so this is a single tooth. It's just a lateral. I've already ground on it. I removed most of the material. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my twist drill and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to drill a hole. And again, I'll continue to reiterate, you want to drill the hole parallel to the, to the facial of the tooth. You don't want to come in on an angle like this. You want to come parallel, okay? Uh, but you want to leave enough room for the wire when it's sticking out so that acrylic will wrap around it. Again, I will, uh, I'll go ahead and do this now. About 4,000 RPMs works best. And there it is. All right, then once the hole is placed, you take your wire and you'll thread it in. Turn it slowly with just a little bit of pressure. Give you a hint here too. When you're when you're screwing it in, the other end is in the palm of your hand so that when I'm holding this tool, I, it has stability. See? Here's the palm of my hand. The tool, the butt end of the tool is there, and then I grasp the tool this way. So that way, I'm turning with my fingers. It's resting in my palm, and it gives me a bit of firm force in order to screw it in. It's gone. See, the wire's gone. Now, if I want to at this point, I can always just bend it a little bit myself by hand. Okay. But you can see the wire is running parallel with the facial of the tooth. And then at this point, I would take out a pair of wire cutters and I would snip it. I have these big old Goliath pliers here I've been using for years. And I will just take 
and snip it right about there. Put that down. And there's that wire. Now, as I showed you in previous videos, again, I can always go and snip it back a bit so it doesn't intrude on the in the area where the ridge is at and uh, again if it's still an issue for you you can always take a rubber wheel and you can rubber wheel the ear off or not the ear but the corner of that piece of wire so that you have a smoother transition I showed you this before in case you don't remember see again so with that being said just wanted to show you on a lateral very simple one just one wire in the center make sure again you have adequate room uh, on either side uh, and uh, circumferentially so that you're not too close to the edge on either side because what you don't want to do is get too close to one edge or the other and then end up splitting off the tooth you want to have at least a wires worth of diameter circumferentially all the way around that way that'll give you the uh, best bite and it'll also assure that you won't shear that off.